This is the real Tom Rose, and we've been asked to calculate the value of an internal angle on a regular hexagon. Now, one thing you need to know is what a regular hexagon is. Regular means all sides, same length. So this looks like a symmetrical hexagon, and it is. It has six-way symmetry. And that's going to help us in a big way because what it means is I can draw, and I'm, what I'm going to do now is draw in a bunch of lines. I'm going to draw this line slightly offset so you can still see what we've been asked for. So I'm going to draw a bunch of lines on this hexagon. These are new lines which didn't exist before that I'm going to use to calculate the value of x. And once we've drawn those in, you see we have six triangles here. Now because this is a regular hexagon and all the sides are the same length, we know that the angle measure of each one of those is exactly the same. And since we go all the way around in a circle when we sum them, let's, let's label this. Uh, let's call it h. We have six angles of measure h, and when we, go, we add them all, we go all the way around in a circle, which means they must add up to 360 degrees. h, therefore, equals 60. Now, we also know that to get the angle x, which spans two of those, which is what we've been asked to find, that x is equal to the sum of h and h, which equals 2h. And we can divide both sides by. And we can plug in the 60 for h, which will give us x equals 2 times 60 or x equals 120. 120 will be your answer.